guys, welcome to Tripskit. Today we are in Cambridge. In this video, I'm gonna walk with you around the city. Unfortunately, some of the locations were closed due to the coronavirus, but nonetheless, we managed to see quite a bit of Cambridge. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. The first thing we've done in Cambridge was brunch. We had our brunch in the Ivy Brasserie. So Ivy is basically a chain of really good brasseries all around the UK. They have amazing breakfast and brunches and good lunches as well. And they're not expensive. Next on our itinerary was just walking around. Cambridge is a pretty walkable city. It's really lovely to walk around and explore some of its hidden gems and beautiful streets. Um, you honestly don't really have to have a plan in Cambridge. Just follow beautiful streets and you'll be able to see quite a bit of a city. However, it's always great to mark kind of the main highlights of the city on a map. And if you're interested, here are some of the must visit places in Cambridge. Cambridge is a perfect destination for a day trip uh, from London. You can get there by car, by bus or by train. If you don't have a car, I don't recommend hiring one just to go to Cambridge. So I would recommend taking a train. It would take around 50 minutes if you're lucky or an hour, 20 minutes if you're less lucky. But it costs about uh, 18 to 20 pounds return if you travel on the weekend and return on the same day. Cambridge is home to UK's Silicon Valley, but it's not called Silicon Valley, it's called Silicon Fen. It's home to over 3,000 businesses and some of world's leading corporations also have their offices in Cambridge. And it's not surprising because they have access to one of the world's best universities. And it's also very, very close to London, just 70 kilometers away. Hence, the houses prices in Cambridge are pretty high. Cambridge overall is considered a very posh city. It's a very prestigious place to live. And that's why many people pick Cambridge as their home, because there are many good schools, amazing university, and it's overall a very, very green place to live. There are even cows in the city centre. However, what Cambridge is famous for is undoubtedly its university. The University of Cambridge is the second oldest university in Britain. It was founded in 1209. And funnily enough, it was founded by the former scholars of the Oxford University who actually had to leave Oxford Uni because of a conflict with the townspeople. Now, Cambridge is one of the world's leading universities. It's constantly fighting with Oxford for the kind of top places in the world university rankings, uh, also fighting with Harvard and MIT, of course. If you want to visit the university as well during the normal times, you would be able to do so. In order to enter some of the buildings, you need to pay. Some other ones are free, but unfortunately, we couldn't visit pretty much anything because the university was still closed because of the coronavirus pandemic. Just in case you're visiting Cambridge when everything is already open and back to normal, I definitely recommend you to visit King's College Chapel, which I will show you in a couple of seconds. It's definitely worth it. It's often named as one of Cambridge's main highlights. The entrance is actually free of charge, but you need to be considered when entering. Some other things to do in Cambridge is punting. So what is actually punting? Punting is moving around city in these tiny boats. You can either hire one for yourself and your friends or family, or you can go on an excursion where somebody else would be kind of, I wouldn't say driving you around, but <laughs> moving you around in the river. And from the river, 
cambridge.com, you will be able to see some of the best views in Cambridge. You will also be able to see Cambridge's most beautiful bridges, like the Mathematical Bridge, the one you can see in the video right now, or this stunning bridge, or maybe you will also be able to see the Bridge of Sighs, arguably the most beautiful bridge in Cambridge. Some other must-see attractions include the Corpus Clock, located on one of the main streets in Cambridge. So this clock was actually opened in 2008 and it was built by one of the Cambridge University alumni and it's absolutely stunning. If you're looking for interesting souvenirs and um, unique gift ideas from Cambridge, you can buy a satchel, a bag like this one from the famous Cambridge Satchel Company. So it was founded not so long ago, but actually it won the hearts of a lot of customers all around the world. And actually, my husband also owns one. If you're into coffee, I can recommend this place for you. So it's called Bold Brothers. It's located also very close to the city center of Cambridge. And it always has a queue, so you won't miss it. We asked for a piccolo coffee and a cappuccino, and both were actually pretty good. Ready to try it? Do you want to try it? Yeah, that's not like So, try it then. Mm, nice. Nice toast. Mm -hmm. of the beautiful architecture of Cambridge, you can actually go for a very short walk to the cool fan and see a lot of cows grazing around. You can also bring some protein bars or some picnic food and enjoy your meal uh, sitting on a bench with a lovely view to the cows. guys enjoy this video this was our mini tour around Cambridge obviously Cambridge is a stunning city and it deserves a bit more information it's just we didn't have that much time in the city if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed yet and I hope to see you guys in the next video bye bye
likes, you give my videos and see you guys in the next video.